Aaron. You put our book online without my permission. I don't need your permission. There is no experimental backing for anything in that book, and it makes me look like a crazy person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I've heard terrible things about you. <laughs> ha. Holtzman works with me in the lab. She's a brilliant engineer and very loyal. She would not abandon you. Okay, you know what? I thought we could have an adult conversation, but apparently we can't. Aaron, if you really don't believe in this stuff anymore, why were you looking for the book? A man came to see me at my work saying his building was haunted. What building? The Aldridge Mansion. It was obviously a joke. Oh! <sighs> Abby, wait! Hey, taxi! Hey, hey, Abby! Come on! Please, Abby, just take the book down. Please. All right, all right. But you have to introduce us to this guy at the Aldridge Mansion. Yes, of course. Excuse me! Excuse me! We're not open! Can I help you? Yes, hi. We're looking for Ed Mulgrave. I wanted to, uh, introduce the people. Hi there. Well, Ed, Ed Mulgrave died 15 years ago. Ed's a ghost! <laughs> so... So who is this? Well, that's Ed's son. Ed Jr. Okay, that's obviously who I meant. Well, how about you take us across the street? I gotta get in there, set up. Let's go on a tour. You're gonna die in there. Strange reading here. It is a fantastic book, you know. That's why people were interested in talking about it on television. It was on a college channel at the University of Michigan. You didn't even show up. I just got tired of being called crazy. <gasps> you okay? No, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Huh? I didn't even know it did that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The basement door is open. Hmm. Bless for apparition. Just be cautious. It's okay. She seems peaceful. Hello. just happened. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. We saw a ghost and the ghosts were real. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. I believe in ghosts because I just saw one. They're real. Trust in your abilities and the universe shall bend before your will. Hey, weirdo, we got a clogged toilet in 1843. Absolutely. Nothing would make me happier. Hey, we are on the cusp of something here. A real discovery. Unlike your university, this institute is 100% behind us. Really? We just have to go upstairs and ask for more money. I, I think we can really do this. We can become the first scientist to prove the existence of the paranormal. Hey, there's the Aaron I remember. Welcome back. Me and Slim will go liberate some more equipment. I'll go find a sweet new base of operations. <laughs> Everyone loves a fixer-upper. We'll take it. Oh. It's a 
dump. Nothing a lick of paint and 30 gallons of industrial bleach won't fix. <laughs> when the fourth cataclysm begins, laborers such as yourself will be among the last led to the butchery. So, make the most of your extra time. You are just a bundle of joy, ain't you? You have a good day with your crazy self. Wow, I wonder what train he taken. Is he going on the tracks? Oh, man. Hey, uh, I'm here about the receptionist job. You're hired. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, ma'am? Hi, ma'am. If you're waiting for takeout, you should really wait downstairs. Oh, I, it's the, the magazine was here, so I, I, I don't know. I just thought that might be your waiting room. Also, um, I got chased by a ghost. scariest thing on that train. I almost got killed. Yeah, I know. It was so awesome. All right, well, what do you think? It's just a lot of bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure none of it's supposed to be in the subway, though. What's that weird thing the guy said to the lady from the subway? Fourth cataclysm. I'm joining the club. The thing is, this isn't uh, really a club. It's a scientific research group. And I understand that. But let me tell you something. I read a lot of nonfiction. And you guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. You're in. Oh, OK. <laughs> cool, thanks, boy. Ah, uh, the Stonebrook Theater? There's a goat on the loose. I'm going to load up the car. Ghostbusters. Yes, we're the Ghostbusters. Hmm. Mm. Class three? Mm, possibly a class four paper. Anyway, if you just mosey around, you'll probably bump into it. Huh, all right. Well, we know it's down here somewhere. Let's split up, and if you see anything, get on the walkie. Oh, yeah, yeah. We put a ghost in a box. <laughs> Dr. Heiss, hello, welcome. Welcome to our laboratory. Is now a bad time? Actually, it is. Why don't you call and make an appointment? Um, it's actually a perfect time. We just uh, take uh, took uh, took a break. Um, do you have a seat right there? Let's start light and easy. So why are you pretending to catch ghosts? Well, I think you should see it. Okay, and you're, you're gonna risk it for him, for that guy? Who cares if he's impressed? Come on! Oh, what a shame. We're showing him. No! <laughs> oh, come on! Well, it has been a real pleasure getting to meet you and and learn about your work. That's gonna leave a bruise. We gotta get it back! Let's split up. Walkie if you see anything. 
And if we see any other ghosts, be sure to bag them. Hey, guys. Guys. Is this thing on? We hear you, Kevin. What's up? Someone just called about something attacking the Something Institute. Said they're in real deep something. All right, I would like to remind everybody here that in a very short amount of time, we have seen multiple Class 4 malevolent apparitions. He's using the devices to charge the ley lines. He's, he's creating a vortex. vortex. Okay, if he gets one of his machines in there, and it's big enough, he's gonna be able to rip a hole right through that barrier. Okay, what is there now? The Mercado. Guys, this is the dude that was at the subway that was talking about the cataclysms. This is him! Ladies, let's gear up and hit that Mercado. Now then, where would we find a janitor? I know, let's ask the desk clerk. She looks helpful. Where's your janitor? Oh, look at that guy. Oh, what has he done? I don't care. Take the lift down, get him. Stop right there! I know you're having a ball bringing all these ghosts into New York, but the thing is, we happen to like this world the way it is. Then you must have been afforded the basic dignity and respect of a human being, which I have been denied. <laughs> Luckily, I am not the only one seeking revenge. When these barriers are destroyed, an army of the undead will return to pester the living. Pester the living doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> to pester the living with unspeakable pain and torment. I think the word we're looking for is apocalypse. Apocalypse. Shut it down. Wait, wait, wait! Whoa! Stop what you're doing! Police are already on their way. It's over. You're going to jail, Rowan. Well. In that case, bye. That's a weird move. See if you can shut that thing down. Okay. Well, that's over. Man, it smells like burnt bologna and reading an unnecessary panic and a sad grab for fame. Uh, they, they're painting us as delusional frauds. Man, forget them dudes, Aaron. You need to shake it off. You know how many people you saved? Yeah, let's go out, get something to eat. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ghost are real! Ghosts are real! I believe in ghosts because I just saw one there! <laughs> Hello, Abby. <gasps> <laughs> We got you a sandwich so you don't be picking up all Come and get man. your sandwich. Come and get your sandwich, please. You want your little sandwich, Abby? Hello, Abby. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Quite well. What are you doing? You're my baby. Ugh. Hello, Patricia. Get out of my front! Go! Hey guys, check it out! Huh? Oh, Kevin, come inside! I was born to be a Ghostbuster, alright? And nothing's gonna stop me! That's so not good! Thanks for the upgrade!
version looks a lot more roomy. Oh, and I just got it waxed. Let's go zap that slimy freak. Yo, that's one creepy weird parade. I just made eye contact. Let's pop some balloons! This balloon bonanza is getting out of hand! I can't reach the trigger! This is exactly how I pictured my death! Huh, surprisingly prone to sharp objects. Miss me? Welcome back! Am I shouting? Okay, let's go save this city and get our terrible receptionist back. We aren't gonna find another one that pretty. Was a thing of beauty. Oh. Ah! Mm. Ah! Oh, you want some? <laughs> Time to bust some ghosts. Everybody, there's no need to worry. We have this under control. <sighs> Hello. Oh, dear brave men and women of the protection services industry. I would like to see you dance. the Ghostbusters. Let's give them a proper New York welcome, shall we? Welcome to the glory days of New York City. Have fun! Take it up again. I didn't know any of you when you were alive. Because I don't enjoy any of you. Especially you. Let's we gotta save our energy. Come on. much Crazy. 
machine up and running again. Come on. Oh, Kevin. Is that what this thing's name is? Seem more like a Chet to me. He's all yours. What form would you prefer I take? Well, I tell you what I prefer. I prefer something nice and cute like a friendly little ghost. Is this what you want? Something more familiar? Thank you very much for being reasonable. <laughs> this isn't good. What part of small and friendly did he not understand? Run. Run!
it. It's 2040. Was that it? Yeah, you did it. <laughs> we all did it. That's right. We all did it. <laughs> in the aftermath of the events, authorities are still trying to understand what happened in Times Square and throughout the city. The big question is, was it the four women who refer to themselves as Ghostbusters who actually reported the attack? Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I'm late. We want to thank you. Actually, we'd like you to continue to study this subject, fully funded. You know, we need to be better prepared, just in uh -huh. case. Whatever you need going forward. Anything at all. Huh? Anything? Oh, now we are talking! Second floor is mine. You can't claim a whole floor. Oh, oh. I just did. Not bad, Ghost Barrel. Thank you, and I proudly take that title. <laughs>